Hello everyone, this is Goody, K3NG. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the K3NG Arduino CW keyer with N1MM Logger Plus. The Arduino CW keyer has a K1EL win key emulation feature, which can be used to interface it with most any contest or logging program that is available out there. To configure it for win key emulation, you need to go into your features and options file, and you need to disable command line interface and enable feature win key emulation. And you do that by uncommenting these. This is commented out, this is commented in or, or enabled. Another file to look at is your pin settings. By default, transmitter key line one is set to pin 11. If you wanna do SO2R, with N1MM or any logging or contest program, you're probably going to also want to define a second transmitter line. So I've made it pin 13 here. So here's N1MM Plus. To configure this to use the K3NG Arduino keyer, you need to go in, select the COM port that the Arduino is on, check CW Other, and then in Details, Check Win Key. Then over in the Win Key tab, it's just like setting up a normal K1EL Win Key device. Everything in here is honored by the Arduino CW keyer except for Win Key Ready. If you're doing SO2R, you're going to want to check Use Second Output over here. And for Pin 5 function, you're going to want to set that to Second CW. Ignore that this says pin 5. It has This will have no effect on pin 5 on the Arduino. This to us essentially means transmitter 2. Whatever your pin is defined as for transmitter 2 in your settings file will work. And you'll always hear that sound when the logging program initializes win key host mode. So that's what that sound means. And we have our Arduino sending code. And I'll switch over to the other radio. And we're now keying the second transmitter line in SO2 operation. I hope this video helps you out in getting your K3NG Arduino CW keyer working with N1MM+. If you have any questions or need any support, I encourage you to join the Groups.io Radio Artisan Group. Thank you. It's 73.